Those may have appeared to show a puppy being abused and Detroit police did remove that eight month old pit bull from that family after our story aired. But today we've learned that that puppy will be returned to her owners. Seven Action News reporter Kimberly Craig has been following this story and Kim, why is the puppy going back? Well, Glenda, the bottom line is a vet can just not find any signs of abuse. Now, the family says that they have been told that they cannot just leave her tied up outside day and night because of a new anti-tethering ordinance in Detroit. But otherwise, this puppy is being returned. She don't have any bruises or anything saying that she's been abused. And we're told that's why Detroit Animal Control told the family they can have their eight month old puppy back shortly after we aired these surveillance videos from a tipster showing what sure appears to be the dog being abused. Detroit police fearing the dog was in immediate danger went and picked her up and took her to Detroit Animal Control where we're told she's been examined for signs of abuse. Uh, there are no marks, scrapes, bumps or bruises. Uh, or breaks of any kind that would uh, be indicative of any type of abuse. The family had told us yesterday that the Michigan Humane Society, or MHS, paid them over a dozen visits in the last four years on allegations that they were abusing or mistreating another dog, and now this puppy. MHS was just out here Sunday, and the family says they were told everything was fine. MHS says they did not find any signs of abuse. But then after DPD took the puppy yesterday, fearing she might be in danger, MHS claims they were actually still investigating and removing her complicated that. Well, DPD is actually unaware of any investigation that MHS is conducting uh, at that location regarding this animal. Detroit Animal Control has the puppy now and we're told the family will be getting her back later this week after she's been spayed and they will continue to monitor the situation to ensure the dog's safety and wellness. It says she looks fine. We're going to just keep her for until Thursday, give her a shot, and then we're going to send her home to you. And who knows what the future holds for this puppy. The family says their last dog did not freeze to death, as, as tipsters have told us. Brandy Bird says their last dog got sick after she had puppies, so they put her in the garage where she died of parvo. That's the very latest, and we will certainly be staying on top of this story. As you can imagine, so will our tipsters. Back to you. Kimberly Craig, thank you for that live update.